G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me and I'm going to show you how to grow pineapples at home and why these mini ones are the best. Now we've been growing pineapples for about a decade now and over the years I've learnt quite a lot about growing them and some things will really surprise you. The first thing is you can buy pineapple plants from the nursery but we never do. We always get our new pineapple plants from the stores, the farmers markets or the, even the supermarket sometimes. Instead of throwing away the tops, we cut the tops off, eat the pineapple and plant the tops in the garden. And we'll get to how I do that soon, but it's the easiest method you will ever see. Over the past few years, you might have seen that pineapples are being sold, especially in the supermarkets, with the tops removed and only just the fruit. In my opinion this is really disingenuous from the farmers and the commercial producers of pineapples. And the reason why they don't sell them with the tops on is simply because they don't want other people like us at home cutting the tops off and planting them into the garden. It, and it's disingenuous for two reasons. One is it hardly would make a dent in the market for people like us growing our own. And two, the subsequent pineapple that you do grow isn't usually the same as the one that you buy in the shops either. It's usually quite a bit smaller. And I'll also talk about that more in a second as well and why that is actually a good thing. So my first tip is, if you see a pineapple in the store with the top removed, don't buy it. They can get stuffed. If they want to be disingenuous, if they want to be nasty about it and make sure that we can't cut the top off and grow it in our own home garden, well, bugger them, I won't buy their fruit. So why should we grow pineapples? Well, first of all, they're so easy to grow that you really can't fail. They look very ornamental in the garden. You can plant them in the patch if you want, you can put them in pots, or you can plant them in ornamental spots around the place. To, like even in a cactus garden, for example, somewhere where that's really arid and dry and that's the other good thing about growing pineapples is they are very very drought resistant and resilient they'll grow in most types of soil and especially harsh dry soil or a terrible place of the garden where it doesn't get much water pineapples usually do very well in those conditions and the final point about growing your own pineapples is it produces a much superior fruit very sweet beautiful tasting and that's the main reason why I grow them. Organic, excellent. So why the mini variety? This one here is about, you know, hardly as big as my fist, but it is a delightful specimen. We've grown heaps of them over the years and they are just beautiful. And the reason why they're small, it's not because the variety of pineapple it's because it's reverted back to more of its heritage or heirloom characteristics, which is typically small. Now over in Asia, they don't worry about this. They're not, they're not into the Western way of thinking where everything has to be bigger and better and juicier. They will happily just grow the pineapples as they are. And it's a real delicacy and treat over there, especially off track a bit out in the farming areas in Vietnam and Thailand you'll come across lots of little stalls where they have these mini pineapples on ice and they'll cut them open for you on demand you know for gee a dollar and they'll be nice and chilled and absolutely wonderful to eat so what happens is you buy the big fat juicy one from the supermarket or the farmers market or wherever but then what you do is you cut the tops off you plant them in the garden and usually the first generation or at least the second they revert back to this small mini variety. Now to planting pineapples. Now are you ready for this? Because like phew, this is going to be really hard. Cut the top off and bung it in the ground. That's it. You want me to repeat that? Cut the top off and bung the top into the ground Give it a bit of water occasionally and it will grow into another pineapple. In about 18 months, it'll have a little mini fruit which will look so cute and beautiful and eventually 
this will fall over and it will signify the stalk will break and it will signify that the pineapple is ready to be picked and you can whack it on the kitchen shelf and eat it. Simple as that. Now I don't want to bore you with something that's so easy so just I want to throw in a, a few more last tips and observations about growing pineapples. With a lot of pineapple videos you'll see they will you know they'll say things like make sure that you cut the top off right to the end and and all that. Well I, I don't do that I'll just I'll leave actually about an inch underneath the stem and the reason I do that is because when I plant it out in the garden it just gives that head a little bit more energy to use as the roots start to grow out and establish. I don't trim it back, never have. And the other thing I've never have done is put the top in a glass of water or in a bowl to try to root it down first before I plant it out. I've never seen that that's necessary. I just think that's an extra step that's a waste of time and energy. Don't worry about trying to root it for a month or whatever until the roots grow down and then plant it out. I wouldn't bother. So I hope you enjoyed this video on how to grow a mini pineapple. It's easy to do. Remember, don't buy those ones with the tops cut off. They can get stuffed. Buy the ones with the tops on, cut the top off, bung it in anywhere, get into it. Thanks a lot for watching. Thumbs up if you like the video. Also share it. Bye for now. Mm. Oh. Mm. Ah. Oh no, oh. none for the kids, no way.